What's up guys, welcome back to the next part of the Hacker Slash Tour series. In this video, we're going to work on the Rage Mode. So if I hit my imp uh, Rage Mode input, which is Z on my keyboard, I'll play the attack, I get this glowing effect, and my light attack will completely change. So this is my new light attack sequence. And as you can see, I'm able to still combo off even though my Rage ended. This is what my normal uh, black attack sequence look like. See, so it's a basic thrust. The other one, I dash backwards and then back up. Um, it will also change my air attack. So if I'm in the air, I only have a three hit sequence for my air attack. But if I enter my rage mode, I have a brand new six hit combo for my aerial attack. Cool stuff. Now I can also buffer my light I can buffer my raged attack so as you can see my rage attack does do damage and I can buffer out of it uh, buffer out of my regular attacks and perform the rage attack so let's wait for this to so as you can see it's I'm in my normal form I can spam the light attack and once I hit the input for my rage attack um, it will take priority so I hit it once as you can see I buffered out of my light attacks and I played it so in aerial combat crasher still works all the functionalities all work and it's like a two-hit combo there we hit this one. and then we still execute while in the form you can even add special executions for the uh, rage mode but yeah, if you guys want the project files, join me on Patreon. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. In the last video, we worked on finishers and executions along with the camera. When the enemy's health get low enough, you can execute them. The camera stops moving. The enemy plays the execution, dies. In this video, we're going to work on the rage mode and also get some VFX on the hit for the enemy. I just realized that I got VFX, but I never added them. So let's do that first. Let's open up our enemies and open to the base enemy. Let's over to our damage UG. So when we get hit, so right around here, when we update health, right? Because we do take the damage, update our health, we should just spawn it right here. So let's pull this out a little bit. And then right here on the, hmm, is there no hit info? Oh, that's all right. We can do some play particle. Actually, we should just play on our character. So let's over to our player character. Maybe it's better that way. Cause then we actually have hit results. So let's head over to our light attack. Like draw collisions or something. Search it out. Draw up in collision right here. So right here we have a hit. Now before we apply damage, we want to play particle effect. So let's pull these over a little bit. And then it's um spawn particle. Spawn the mid right location. And then we want uh, I have a blood splatter. So I'm just gonna select that. And then I'm gonna plug in the impact point for the location. And it's just um, make a reroute node, strain those out. And let's give it a test. Hopefully it works. Okay, powers are shading. Let's give it a while. Okay, so now it should work. There you go. Now what I want to do is actually scale the effect down a little bit. So maybe around 2.6 all the way around. And then for rotation, I kind of want to get something like random. Random rotator. Roll. I don't know what this roll does, but uh, let's just try it like this and see if it works. Yeah, it's much better. With the randomness in the effects, much better. So now let's work on the rage mode for the player. So let's save everything. Let's close out the base enemy. We won't need that anymore. Um, and let's open our variables, see what we have. Okay, let's head over to our light attack. And let's make another event here. Let's see, this one's getting pretty large. See our heavy attack. 
Mm, either one's fine. Uh, I'm gonna do my light attack, just keep things consistent. Um, so I'll run at the very top with the charge attack. Let's make another couple event. Call it rage. Rage. I feel like we need an input for this, so let's delete this. Let's make an input. And let's duplicate something. So, uh, heavy, let's just duplicate finisher. IA. Rage. Make sure the finisher had a input trigger. Yep. So this one has a trigger for pressed. Now let's open our mapping. Let's add it in. This one's gonna be our rage. And rage for me is gonna be Z. I'll just keep it at Z. And so let's make a new event graph. Call it rage EG. Rage EG. Let's grab our input. So IA underscore rage. First things first, we want to check whether or not we can rage. So let's make a wrench. And a couple things you want to check. So let's make a new function and call it can rage. And this will be a const function or a peer function. Um, and we're just going to return a boolean. And what we're going to turn is is current state equal to any and boolean. Let's plug this in. So the states we want to check is make array and we want to make sure it's not. So we want to make sure we're not in any of the states that are listed here. We do not want to be in the attack state, dodging state, um, dead state, or the disabled state. And we also don't want to perform the rage while in midair, unless you do, but in my particular case I don't. So we're going to check this falling. And then we're gonna grab this and make it is flying. And make sure not it's for both. Not boolean for both. And let's plug this into the and boolean. Now let's plug this into the function or the branch. And now on the false pin, let's make another branch. And what this will do is determine if we should save the input and then play the or and buffer out the attack for a raged. So what we're gonna do is is current state equal to any, and we're gonna search for attack or make array. And what I'm gonna do is select attack. I might also want dodge in here, but for now let's um just do attack for now. And so if we are in the attack, we want to save the um, attack. So we want to save it. So B, rage, save. And we want to set that to true. And then once we set that to true, we also want to save our attack. So set, save attack, save light attack. I'm going to consider it a light attack, but um, yeah. I'm going to consider a light attack because the light attack will be called much quicker and much faster than the other f attacks. So let's keep it at that. And so, can rage, if we can rage, we'll make custom event, we'll call rage. And then here, if it's true, then we just rage. Now what we do in rage, we're going to spawn, spawn, particle, or emitter, attach, and actually we're going to spawn at location, so spawn, spawn at location, or spawn attached, why not? And so the meta we want to use is the magic circle. And then the component to attach is going to be the character's mesh. And we're just going to attach on the root. Location attach, we can leave all those the same. Now, let's see how this actually works. So let's um, hop in here and let's try it out. Compile shaders. Nice. So it does play attached, which is nice. Now what we're gonna do is auto destroy. So let's open this up. Now how long does this actually last? Or does it last forever? Does it 
does it last forever? Yes, it does last forever. So we're gonna have to delete it in a minute. So let's uh, promote this in variable and call this rage VFX. Okay, now want to play rage VFX. What we do want to do is play an animal montage. So play animal montage, and we're gonna promote this to a variable and call it rage attack montage let's also put montage in there montage and then we would need a custom event so let's call a custom event called um, rage complete because the enemy could still um, cancel it unless you don't want this to be cancelled if you don't want to be cancelled we can add the iframes on it but if the rage attack could be interrupted um, this will ensure that if it does get interrupted before it gets completed, then uh, we don't actually get the rage ability. So let's just keep like that. Rage completed. What we want to do is make a new variable, b rage. And we want to set that to true. And once we are in, we want to grab our rage VFX. We want to check it's valid. Actually, if we do this first, we can check if it is valid. If it is valid, we want to remove, so we destroy component if it is if it is valid if it is not valid we just continue as normal now first things first we're going to set is raged so we are in the rage mode and then we want a way to um, clear or stop the rage so what we're going to do is create a set timer by event by event and this would be rage duration so this is going to be rage duration and then event, we're gonna make a create event. And then we're gonna create matching event and call this end rage. Now on end rage, we wanna set the um, rage to false. Okay, now let's see. Now in the can rage, what we also wanna do is make sure we are not in the middle of a rage. So not boolean. Now, if we, we should not be in a rage. Now here, we also want to check um, another bo and boolean as well. And what the condition will be is also a not with the rage. And that's because when we play the animation, we should also set the state here. So set state. And it should set the state to attack. Because it's going to play like an attack and then it still can do damage or whatnot. So it should be an attack. So not boolean. And boom, there you go. Now another thing I want to do is when we complete, we set the rage and whatever, we want some visual cues here. So I'm gonna set over that material. Material on the static mesh. Is that the same thing? No, it's not the same thing. Uh, where is it even static? Oh yeah, that's our weapon. I wanna set a overlay material on our player character. Um, and then the overlay material would be our overlay material, which I've made in a previous video. If you guys want to check it out, feel free. But it's uh, very, it's quite simple. You guys can copy this down if you like, but I won't be going over it. Um, I'm gonna make another material instance for MI page overlay. Now, because um, this overlay is going to be used for enemy. Um, indicator for enemy attack indicator i want to change the color a little bit now this one could be used for the enemy indicator but um just having too much red on the screen could be a problem so i'm going to change this color to maybe like a something dark like a darkish bluish purplish dark violet and then we select that and then we we'll place this in and then when the timer ends uh, we want to set overlay material to nothing. To no. Now let's get ourselves a animation attack. So let's have our attack. Let's see. 
Should be around here somewhere. Not this one. Nope, not this one either. Should be this one. Normal. Attacks, dash attacks, enemy attack, fight attack. Here combo rage. Streamer. Fight attacks, enemy attack. Dash attacks. Oh, huh, maybe I don't have an animation yet. So. Enemy attack. Extender, enemy combo one, heavy. Launch, body attack, rage, combo starter, extender, crasher, anyone. Yeah, so I don't have a animation yet. So let me import one and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so I fixed that issue. I had to re-import the skeleton. It was using the wrong skeleton, so that's why it wasn't working. So we got that working now. And so let's create a animal touch for this. Call it rage. Rage attack. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna need this one kind of starts in the air a little bit, so I don't know how that will really feel. Let me get the other one in and then um, just go on from there. Okay, so I got the other side of the animation. This one's the one that launches up and then the other one that is the one that crashes down. So what we're going to do is add both of them on here. And then we just need to time it correctly. So this one is right when he does that around here. So about 0.7. Nice, so that looks pretty good. Now what we're gonna do is we need a collision. So we need a open collision. So this one right here. I'm gonna have this one be a, let's see, knock down, knock back. I don't know if it'll land. That's the biggest issue right now is whether or not it will land. Um, but we'll see if the attack or collision will land. But we can actually modify the collision here. So what we're gonna do is make the radius. Um, what's our regular radius? Maybe 50. What's our other attack radius? We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. Attack. Light attack. Let's open this up. Let's open our animation up. Web collision is 50, and then range is 200. So I'm gonna keep that. Range is 200. And then the range here, I wanna make like. 350 and then keep the radius still at 50 just so that we hit that last the crashing attack and then this one's gonna be a knockdown boom also I'm gonna allow root motion rotation so right before we jump right around there um, we also need a reset state reset state right there this is 0. And then we need to save light attack. Save light attack. And then we want to save heavy. Now what we also want to do is also make that animal notify. So we also need this rotation target. We also need to copy our trails over. And we might also want a soft lock target. Let's paste this in, rotation target right around here. And then we want another right around here as well. And then we also need a soft lock. So uh, soft lock, which is this one. around here and then we copy paste that over here as well nice now what else we need now that's a new weapon trail okay nice now the last thing we need to do is probably add the um complete so the rage complete notify so let's um, do that 
head over to our hacker slash blueprint and notify and pressure and rage complete. Rage complete. Plug it in. Head over to our rage tag, let's add it in. And then I want to make it right when he lands. Bam, right here, that's when he transforms. Um, let's see, what else do we need? This one is different. We also want one more of the effects. And I want to spawn it right around here. It's um, spawn particle. So spawn particle. Spawn particle effect. And we're going to search for Thunder, so down here, should play in the editor, there you go, nice, that's it. Alright, so now let's um, plug this into the animation, let's see how it looks, over here, and let's plug this in. And also, we want to kind of also want to set a duration here, let's set duration for 10 seconds for the range, let's see, FPT. Nice, but um, our overlay material doesn't seem to be. Oh no, it's fine. It's just not very visible. So let's um modify that real quick. Effects um, overlay this one. XP. For speed compression. Right down there. Okay, let's see how that looks. Nice. I like the glow, but it's maybe a bit too much. So maybe around negative 0 0.05. See that? Nice. That's a lot better. Now we cannot play the rage because we're already in the rage. But let's see if we can spam it. Yep, so we'll play. Now I want to try actually attacking the enemy with the rage, see if it even lands. So it does play nicely actually. Only thing is that the knockdown is a bit weird. Let's find another knockdown. Yeah, so the enemy get up doesn't play for the knockdown. Let's see why. Dummy. Attempt to base enemy. Open our damn GG. Let's see. This one is the launch pressure. Now we set enemy. Play animation. So where's the get up function? So to get up, it's in the event graph. We wanted to see on landed. So we never play the. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some additional stuff here. Current health, max health, get up. Interesting. Let's see. Let's open up our get up animation, see how it looks, what it looks like. So, get up. Or our um, knockdown. Knockdown. So, it's just regular knockdown. Now, what we actually want to do then is. Hmm. It's gonna be very tricky because I kind of want to find a way to do the add the functionality but without like but make it where it's able to be reused we can play montage so what we're gonna do we're actually gonna use the um, play montage node use the play montage node and then here we're gonna plug in the montage Gonna uh, move this down a little bit, and then we're gonna grab our skeletal mesh, plug this in, and then on notify begin or on completed, we're gonna make a branch, and we're gonna check if our uh, damage type, we're gonna search equal equal enum, is equal to knockdown. Now, if you want to try this with knockback, does it still get up? Or does it get up normally? 
Yeah, so he gets up normally for knockback. It's just for knockdown that it doesn't. So let's uh, check for if he's knocked down. If he is knocked down, we want to call get up. Okay, now that should work. Now let's see. Yeah, it's all right. It could be definitely need some tweaking with the um, blend animate the blend ins and blend out, but um, other than that, it works. You know what? I don't really like that. So let me try. So let me do this. So um, add a track here to have a notify. Montage notify and call this get out. And I'm gonna call that right after. We're not even gonna call a reset state. We're just gonna call get up. Second, he's on the ground. Go down there. Enemy. And so we're on. Notify begin. We make a branch. Actually, just disconnect this. Over here, notify begin. It doesn't even matter which one, I don't think. We just play. Because there's only should be one. Now let's test it. Oh, wrong combo. Let me try that again. LT. Open the get up. Let's open the get up animation. I feel like the blend in is way too long. Yeah, so let's uh, make it 0.2 and then let's put it like exponential out. Yep, so okay, that's a bit, that's pretty good. Now for the enemy get up or the enemy knockdown, I also want to change it to like 0.15. And then this one we want quadratic. See if that makes any better. Okay, it's a bit snappy, but it's all right. I mean, it works well with the um, knockback. Bit snappiness is fine. Um, let's try the rage. Okay, so the rage works really well, but um, the rotation is a bit too late. I feel like it could have been earlier. So maybe around here. So if I So we can attack normally. Let's see. Okay, nice. So our range, so our attack still hit, which is nice. Okay, so that's all good. Now what I want to do is implement some rage attacks. So if we're in rage attack, we're going to place a rage attack instead of our regular light attack. And to make that work we need to clear all our variables here so what we're going to do is reset light attack reset heavy attack and i'm pretty sure this one resets the combo yes it does all right nice so we reset all our attacks now in our light attack event graph when open perform light attack right here we're going to um do a select node And let's grab our rage, so that will be a wild card. If we are in the rage, then we want to uh, promote this to variable and call it rage attack montages. This will be a light attack rage attacks, and this will be our other. Now we end our um, rage attacks. We also want to clear. So let me close up all of this, close other tabs, open our rage. Now when we reset our light attack, we also want to do that when we clear the, when we stop the rage mode. So, unless you want to um, allow the player to just keep comboing, but for me specifically, I think I just want to reset everything when the rage ends. Mm, or not, let's just keep it like this for now. Open our rage. Um, yep, yeah, we'll just need to add the montages here. Everything else should work as expected. Now, I also want to do the air attacks. So let's head over to perform error attack. Same thing, we're gonna do a select node. And then this will be in the false. I'm gonna promote this to variable, call it rage error attack montages. And now wild card would be our rage. Nice. Now let's add, let's add our animations. 
which I'm pretty sure is in this one. Now to make our my life simpler, I'm just gonna grab an attack. So maybe our light attack. I'm gonna copy this. In that rage mode, I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna rename this to am underscore rage arrow or one. And then I'm gonna duplicate this five times. One, two, three, four, five. So this will be number six. Nice. And what I'm gonna do instead is just um, plug in the animations and then just move the anim notifies just so I don't have to go around searching for it. Like what animation no anim notifies I need and which one I don't. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. Just so I have access to all the animations. So we're gonna start with number one. Delete the old one. Allow motion rotation. I don't think we need that. Reset state. Yep, we're gonna have the reset state around here. Around here, see the light attack. Get over. Open collision, right here. Gonna be, it doesn't even matter which, is, which one it is. Around there. It's gonna be around here. Rotation to target. Around there. You can delete this. Save heavy, save dog, you don't need that. I'm gonna just double check that this is actually correct. Let's open up my other um, air attacks. We have disabled root motion one. Yeah, so the only thing we're missing is disable root motion. Alright, now let's open the other one. Up. Maybe attack is probably later. On there. Save that attack. Right around after, right around here. Okay, let's see. And then we need to disable root motion. Then that's it, right? Yeah, that should be it. So let's add a disable root motion. I don't know, do we need to see a motion? I don't think we do. We'll open up our other one. Tax rage. So when this one up in new window. Yeah, it looks like we all have the disabled remote motion, so let's just keep that in there. Okay, nice. So we got number one done. For number two. Wrong animation. Attack. Rage number two. Okay, nice. Now we still need to copy this. This is uh, probably the most annoying part. Moving all the animal notifies and whatnot over. So I'm gonna lower it back to one. Maybe 0 0.9. Just so we can actually even see the animation. Around here. Don't need this. You do not need this. This should be earlier. This should be right around here. State. Pull that out a little bit. This up here. Save dodge. We don't need that. And then the last one we need is disable the rush end. Then we're gonna pull that all the way across. So that was our recent state. Put it out here. Cool. So that's good. Let's look at the next one. Let's pull in number three in here. Save that attack. Right around here. Trails. We have it starting here. And the other over here. This one's gonna be right around here. Delete this, delete this, move this back, close up a little bit. Delete this, this one should be right around there, boom. And then we need the disable for motion, pull it all the way across, boom. Now we need the fourth one. 
same thing. So the trails a little bit. Reset the speed. Choosing the target, run around here. Delete the soft lock, delete the safe dodge, move this out a little bit more. Safe dodge, pull that back a little bit, and then pull this out a little bit. And then let's get a disabled motion. There, be good. To the fifth one. Delete this, delete this, and delete this. That, move this over, around here, particular target, right there, and then this one should be around here. Let's pull this out a little bit, pull this over, and then we need to see where we're motion. Nice, we're getting really close. Should be one more, and then we should be good. Last one. Current with a collision, we're gonna make this a knock back. Collision right around here. He's gonna have collision, he's gonna have to trail all over. See a light attack, we don't need that. Save heavy. Maybe right around here. Save dodge, nope. Tension target, around here. Pull this out a little bit. Boom. So that should do the trick. Now we also need to see a little motion here as well. Almost forgot. All right, boom, there you go. Now that should do the trick. Now it's time to add it all in. Alrighty, now let's make sure all room, like, uh, what is it called? Ouch, this is gonna be problematic. Cause all our root bones are broken for this stupid mesh. And I'm very, very upset about it. Oh my god. Okay, at least this one's not broken. So maybe this one's not broken either? Yeah, so some of them are broken, just some of them are, which is super odd. Like the first two are like broken. Hopefully that's not an issue. Let's see. Let's activate our rage. We're not playing the other attacks. So let's see why is that. Let's open up our player character. And this is premier attack. If rage is true, we should be playing rage montage. Let's plug this in. Let's see. Hmm, that is super weird. We're not even playing the montages, even though they're in there. Oh, that's because we didn't get it here. Okay, hold on. We still need to um, copy all of this over. Oh, I bet. Copy and paste it all over and then plug it in here as well. Okay, now that should do the trick. Oh, that's a normal. Now let's play the rage. Okay, now let's also lower the damage here. So let's see damage. Damage, I want to make it one. Let's do this. And done. So rage. Kill okay, that launch out. Huh. So we play like the fourth attack and then it doesn't work anymore. So let's see. Asset animation. Maybe it's because the root save is way too close or something.
Oh, I think I know why. Because there's also another check we need to make sure we get this one right here. And I don't know why I keep control hit hitting B on my keyboard. There you go, now that should do it. Let's activate rage mode. Let's go up. And as you can see, there's that weird snapping. That's because my animations are off. But the whole attack does work. Now let's see if it actually plays. Okay, let me rage. Enter rage mode. Let's attack this. So yeah, it still works. Yeah, and now this one doesn't work. So let's fix that one. And that's because we don't have the animations yet. So let's, again, repeat the process and add animations. So let's enter, let's grab one of our animations. Uh, not this one. Heavy attack, let's grab our heavy attack. Let's paste it in our light attack rage. It's, it's, um, let me find this one. Which will be three names to am underscore rage light 01. Duplicate this, duplicate this, duplicate it. Boom. Now, what we want to do is get the name of this. And boom. So now we have all the attacks. We get the first sequence. Now we also need to enable boot motion in a second, but for now, so right around here, it will be a play bright animation. Is that how things work? Uh, we'll see in just a second. Nope, allow boot motion rotation, that's fine. Remove collision, we delete that, we change target. Very early, soft lock, very early. And this one. Save light attack right around here. Heavy, pull it back. Dodge, pull it forward. Then maybe all the way back here. So we'll reset state. Let's open number two. Plug in number two in here. So it comes from the right. So this one's gonna be right. And then middle. Heavy attack, gonna pull it. Hold on, did I do that one wrong? Yes, I did. This one should be further back. This one should be further up. There you go. Okay, now let's head back to number two. Heavy attack, back a little bit. This one right around here should be fine. Go back, grab this, all the way back here. Yep, okay, those would be fine. Now, number three. Is that the right one? I'm pretty sure it is. Now we're gonna question it, so right around here. It's gonna be right again. Up, and then go all the way back. It's right around here. In the collision, we'll delete this one. Choose your target, soft lock. Okay, good. Pull this one back. Save light attack right around here. Dodge right around here. And then reset state right around here. All right, finally, last one. Collision, we're not going to have it until at the end here. But actually, we can make it here, but then we make the range like almost 400. Trail, keep it all the way across. Up collision, delete this one. And this one's also going to be knockback. Soft lock, boom, heavy attack all the way. This one should be close to. Here, save light attack. We are right around here. It's right on there. Boom! Perfect. Finally, I think that's all the animations we need. So
So let's um add those in and then hopefully we're done. One, two, three, four. Rage. Rage light. Rage. Two. Rage. Three. And rage. Four. Let's also make sure we have root motion enabled for all of them. Okay, now let's give it a try. Cover normal animations. And we can see Rage. Now we have our. We still don't have the right animation. That's because we have the same issue earlier. We need to copy all of that functionality. So in the perform light, copy all of this. And you paste it in here as well. Same thing. Like this, you stay here. Now, one more thing is the save attack. So, when we save light attack, so save light attack. You know, if you're in the um, okay, attacking, okay, perform light attack, and then what we want to do is in desired attack. Um, before you even play charge attack. We want to check for rage, so we're going to check close that for rage. V rage saved, and if each rage saved, we're going to call rage. So this is going to call the false pen. Off the true pen, we're going to call rage. And then we're going to return. And then, first things first, we want to set this to false. Call rage, and then we want to return. Return true. Boom, perfect. So now let's give it a shot. We're attacking. Yep, we can save it. Boom, nice. Okay, nice. Bam, bam, bam. Now if we hit Z again, bam. We hit him. There you go, now everything seems working. We have a whole light attack, air combo, brand new air combo, brand new light attack, all for just the rage mode. And let's open the, and we can also chain the rage mode. Looks like I was able to chain it twice, which is not good. So we're gonna do a save rage. We're gonna do it on input, not raged, and we're also gonna try to give, hmm. Very odd. So we are not raged. Oh yeah, that's because we were already playing a rage. So what we need to do is make another variable. Part B is playing rage. And we're gonna set this to true. And then on completed, we want to set to false at the very end. And then here. And not. Boolean. So now we can't chain it twice. So if I'm attacking, nice. I'm gonna try to spam it, but it'll never work. Now because it's a rage attack, we might want to push the um, light, the save light attack a lot closer. Specifically for that last attack, maybe right here, right around here. <laughs> and then we have our aerial attacks. Bam. Uh, crasher works still. And then we have a finisher. Yeah. Nice. So everything seems to be working for our rage attack. It's a long video, but um, everything seems to be working. We have brand new light attacks for our rage, brand new aerial combat, aerial attacks for our rage. We have VFX, um, some visual cues, 
Um, yeah, we keep and buffer our uh, rage attack. Is everything seems working. I'll see you guys in the next one.